My name is Adam Leonard and today I'm reviewing Season A Letter to the Future developed by Scavenger Studio and it's available for the PlayStation 5. Season tells the story of a young woman's journey out into a strange and fantastical world as she chronicles the lives of the people who live in it before a strange event comes and changes all life as they know it. Season is a highly anticipated game for me. It's my first big review of the year, so I'm very excited to tell you why this game is a fantastic adventure into the unknown. She set out to record life at the end of this season, to make it real for people in the future. She asked us about living together. And we asked her about traveling alone. When the season turns, what will remain? Only what she saw, what she captured. Season is a very unconventional game. It's very quiet and very intentional in the way that it rolls out to you as the player. There is no combat. There are no heavy game mechanics. There's no adversity in this. It is all about going on this journey with this girl as she explores the world and you exploring that world and satisfying your own curiosity. The world of Season is very familiar but very fantastical and that's one of the things that kind of jumped out at me first as you start this game up. It kind of sets the tone that this is a world that will be familiar to you but it also is very much um, steeped in its own lore and its own rules in reality. You're going to hear a lot about uh, ancient sicknesses that wipe out people's memories and talismans that protect your soul. There are a lot of fantastical elements in this world that they kind of soften the edges of the drama to this game. The whole idea behind Season is that you are the one person in the world who is tasked to go out before the world comes to a close. Now this isn't this isn't an apocalypse. This isn't like everybody's about to die, but there's a foreboding sense of change that is permeating this entire game. You know, the valley's gonna be flooded soon. That's why nobody can go in there. The dam is falling apart. Day zero, we call it. And it's and it's inescapable, and you can see that in all of the characters that you meet, they all have come to terms with the fact that the season is about to change and they don't know what comes on the other side of it, but they're not necessarily scared or terrified. It's just a part of their journey. It's a part of their existence, knowing that what they refer to as the season must come to an end. And so you as the player go out into the world and meet all these different characters, see all these different sites, and absorb all of this history around you in an attempt to chronicle the way that life was before it comes to an end. The way that you achieve this is you have a few tools at your disposal. You mount up on your bicycle and you have a backpack with a journal in it. You have a camera for taking photos of the sights and the people that you see. And you have a microphone, a recorder. As you do this, you fill up that journal page by page. And it's really actually quite one of my favorite parts about this game is meticulously placing all of your mementos in this journal. You can place anything that you take a picture of or any of the sound files, your drawings, your sketches, and even blurbs, insights that you have as a player as you learn more about this world. You place them anywhere you want on the pages and you can scale them up, you can angle them, so it's, it's very much like a scrapbooking simulator. And it's kind of superficial, but it really does a great job of, um, of putting agency in your exploration into this world. All players are gonna see the same things for the most part in this game. You and I will have much of the same experience in the sights and the sounds that we see, but it's our collection that's unique to us and you can go back to it throughout the entire course of the game. You can always take out your book and thumb through the pages to see all of the things that you came across on your trek. Season is very charming in the world that it is handcrafted, and boy does it really feel handcrafted. There's a drawn aesthetic to everything. It looks like it is hand-drawn or painted, and it's, 
incredibly beautiful. And the characters that you meet along the way, their stories are very personal. They're not exaggerated or blown up. There's no heroes or tall tales. They're small vignettes about the people that lived in this, in this place. It really gives this game a lot of charm and wonder. And while the world is quite large that you're exploring, the track that you're on is quite linear. And so you want to explore everything that you see. And really there's no limits to that. You can be riding your bike through a field. And if you hear birds chirping in the distance, you can take your microphone out and start recording them. And that becomes part of your journey. There aren't any great big set piece moments. The moments that you have are the ones that speak to you in your heart and season does a fantastic job of just telling a touching story about this world as it stands on the edge of change one thing that's very important to us here at mega dads is the family focus every review we talk about whether these games are appropriate for your children or to play in front of your children and i think season a letter to the future is really probably aiming at that young adult set there's nothing in this game that's inappropriate there's nothing in this game that you're going to feel uncomfortable playing in front of young kids. But the pace and the deliberate tone of Season is probably not going to catch the attention of a young child. I loved my time with Season A Letter to the Future. It's not the kind of game that I'm going to go back to and play time and time again, but it is the kind of game that I'm going to go back to in my mind and think of the people that I saw, the friends that I made, the sights, the sounds, the expertly crafted world. I found this game to be beautiful and charming. I am so glad that I spent time in this season. My final score for season, A Letter to the Future, is 4 out of 5. Is it going? Is it gone? Not yet.